Hi guys, um, pasta here. Today, I'm gonna do something special. For the season, I'm gonna make uh, apple cider. I'm gonna make apple cider. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this hydrometer and I'm gonna spray it with star sand, like this. Oops, got it over my phone. Then I'm gonna wipe it. Then you let it dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna after this is dried, personally, I like to rinse it off after I spray it with star sand. So and then, so after that, I just put in this gallon of 100% apple juice. Make sure it's 100% juice. And the gravity reading is, I'm not sure you guys can see it. Usually these things come out at 6%. Let's see. Yeah, it's about 6% ABV. And for your hydrometer nerds out there is uh, 1.4, 1 1.04. And you read it. 1.042. Actually, 1.403, actually. So that means that I'm my cider is going to be too low. 6%, I mean, that's, that's like a strong beer, but... I would like to have my cider around maybe 10 to 14 percent so i'm gonna use this four pounds of sugar and we're gonna see how much abv we can get this up to okay now i'm gonna add in the sugar and of course i'm gonna add in the juice well not these bottles yet but this one here, I'm just going to pour it right in here. You know, I prefer to do this to so concentrate, but I couldn't find anything at my local grocery store. So, but if you can find juice concentrate, that would be fine. Actually, that would be better. Okay, so you have more in the apple flavor, but... Sometimes you have to work with what you got. So, as for me, this is what I got right now. And make sure you stir it up real good. <clears throat> like this. Especially when it's cold, it takes a while to get the soil. I mean, I couldn't make it in, I could have made it into an infrared sugar. That's when you boil the sugar with the water. In this case, I've already done it with the apple juice taste. But I don't have the time and patience to do that. So, make sure you stir it up until all the sugar is dissolved. dissolved. And before you ask, yes, I. I already clean and sanitize this bucket, so this is going to be a clean batch. I don't want any funk in my cider. Oh, and make sure the apple juice you're buying doesn't have potassium sorbate or sodium or any or any sodium or any preservatives that might 
hinder or stop the um, the yeast from eating the sugars and because that'll be bad for the yeast and then that would mean that you can't make any alcohol see in this apple juice is just water apple juice concentrate and ascorbic acid which is fine it's vitamin c and a little bit of acid is good for the uh for the fermentation which i probably going to explain all about the ph and how it affects the fermentation later on but not in this video okay now this is all sanitized again let's see what's the abv on this one Okay, let's see here. It is looking at uh, about 10% ABV, which is very good. About uh, 1.080, nice. And it's a little low than I want it, actually. I'll be right back. I'm gonna add some sugar in here. All right, so I went upstairs and I got about a cup of sugar. I know it's a little more than eight ounces, but bear with me. Anything to buff, buff up the ABV. There we go. And then I'm gonna start up really good here. Not just in this cup. Although I have to make sure all the sugar is out here. Then, then I'll start, make sure it's, it's completely mixed in with the solution. It's a little foggy because that's the sugar. If you're just in case you're wondering, be careful not to touch the juice. So, if it goes up to twelve percent ABV in this case, I guess I'll I've been okay with it, you know. Because I wanted to go back upstairs and grab some sugar. And yeah, I'm doing it in my basement. So, nobody but me could smell the fermentation pro process. Okay. That should be mostly. It's about this all right now. Let's see what the ABV is at this point. Let's see here. We're looking at that this thing stops spinning around. Hold on. Uh, Sorry about this, guys. Hold on. Hold on. 1.084 Maybe it's 30 out of the way, maybe we'll stop. Good. 
Okay, now see, fuck, can't get it. Okay, here we go. One point. Okay, about eleven and a half percent. Uh, it's close to twelve. So that's good enough for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch the yeast, but before that I'm going to warm it up. And temperature has to be right. It can't be over 100, so about like 92 is fine. And cider, though, they like to ferment in cooler temperatures. Luckily, luck, luck, luckily for me, I'm up here in New York, upstate. New York and oops excuse me and uh, I could just use this daddy's oh wait I have something better I'm sorry um my phone just died on me it was around five three percent right before I went off so I didn't use the daddy's I used this yeast instead so we're like a wine and champagne yeast Ramses Cherevisi. I'm not pronouncing it right. That is the EC one 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 eight. I guess GMO and gluten free. I didn't know that was a thing for ease. So it's for, used for sparkling wines. Or you could use it for plain yeast, for plain wine too. And I thought this would be perfect for you, for the cider. But keep in mind this packet is for five gallons. So if you're doing this for a, a gallon batch, you use like one fifth of this. And each packet is five grams. I mean, if you have like a food scale, you, if you can measure it perfectly to a gram, that's fine. Or just use your best judgment and, and just do like a little bit at a time for a gallon. It's up to you. So so I used this instead on that while my phone died. And you can see the yeast is sort of ready. It's foaming up a little bit. Oh, and, and I was having an apple while I was gone for a couple minutes. Okay, so here we are. The batch. Take a good look at it. Because the next time you see it, it's going to be cider. And, and it's going to be cider within three or four weeks from now. So I'll post a video update on that. So I'm gonna stir this around nice and even. And there you have it. Yep. This is clean too, by the way. All right, so that's how you make cider. And my pumpkin rum mash it's still fermenting, but it's almost ready. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the liquor fairy to do the distillation part. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.